Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Knots and today we're going to look at the critical analysis, theme and tone of the poem Enterprise by Nisim Ezekiel. Critical analysis, every single element that the pilgrims encountered on their journey in this poem is a symbol for something else. The sun symbolizes all the obstacles put up by nature in man's path. The desert symbolizes all the issues because of which man discriminates against others of his kind, especially religious differences. The shadow that falls on the pilgrim symbolizes the doubt that man feels regarding his beliefs and superstitions. Thunder symbolizes man's inner voice. If we uncover all these symbols, we realize that Ezekiel is talking about the test of man's faith in this poem. He is saying that organized religion makes a man believe that pilgrimages and donations are important ways of asserting his belief in God. However, the real test of faith comes when a man is confronted by doubt and difficulties. No matter how hard man's life becomes, he should only listen to his own inner voice and not to that of the priests who are supposed to lead their flocks towards salvation. These priests interpret the holy books in such a way that it only benefits themselves. That is why they make prayer seem complicated. However, the way of faith is simple. One must serve his own family and all the creatures of the world that he sees around him if he wants to serve God. Pilgrimages and donations are not at all required to please God. All those practices are futile. The best way to assert one's faith is to care for our beloved ones and see to their every need. Poetic Devices Rhetorical Devices Extended Metaphor This rhetorical device is used when an author exploits a single metaphor or analogy at length throughout a poem or story. In this poem, the poet uses a device of extended metaphor because the pilgrimage he describes is a symbol of both organized religion in particular and of life in general. Epigram This rhetorical device is used to make a brief, interesting, memorable and sometimes satirical statement. In this poem, the poet uses a device of epigram in the last line of the poem, that is line 30. He teaches his readers that piety begins at home and we can practice it by caring for our loved ones if our aim is to serve God. Form and Structure Rhyme Scheme This poem consists of a total of 30 lines as we have previously discussed. Its rhyme scheme can be easily detected if we divide the entire poem into 6 units of 5 lines each. If we do so, we will find that each 5 line unit follows the rhyme scheme of ABABA. Theme The Futility of Life One interpretation of the poem says that the pilgrimage described by Ezekiel is actually a metaphor for life. In life, we face many difficulties, we become skeptical and we often quarrel over trivial issues. However, when we are close to death, we realize that all this is futile. The journey of life itself serves no purpose. One man's life is but an instance in comparison to the life of the universe. We are simply misguided in our search for meaning in life. Instead, we should focus simply on looking after our loved ones and making the most of our short time on earth. Satire on Organized Religion the pilgrimage that Ezekiel describes is actually a parody of organized religion. He says that organized religion is a sham. It tells the man that pilgrimages and donations are the only way to serve God. It tells the man to follow priests blindly and to ignore their own inner voice. Organized religion causes differences among men and is easily doubted. However, if man's faith comes from within himself, then it can never lead him to the wrong track. It will teach him that to serve God, one must serve his loved ones. It will teach him that piety starts at home. Hence, 
we should shun organized religion and worship God in our own way. Tone The tone of this poem varies frequently from one line to the next. At the beginning, the poet is brimming with enthusiasm. Then, when he is beset with difficulties, he starts to lose hope. In the end, he reaches the shrine but he feels that the journey has been wasted. He is filled with regret when he realizes that home would have been a better place to find one's faith.